place in Durban where a police officer has been killed and another one wounded in a shootout between police and suspects in Ntuzuma. Our reporter Dustin Tatia tracking that developing story for us. He told us just a short while ago that he was trying to get more details about exactly what transpired here and get us an update of any of the casualties beyond those of the two officers, one dead now and one wounded. Good afternoon again, Dustin. What's the latest? But then, so let me tell you, just uh, a little while ago, there were some medics that had arrived on the scenes. So they had come here and made some inquiries. So their uh, initial, uh, the initial information that they received was that there are four others that are deceased inside of that home. And those are the ones that are believed to be suspects. So we are still waiting for the police spokesperson in KwaZulu Natal. He's gone inside to get some information just to get an official comment on that and just to verify if it is in fact four suspects as we've now heard just a short while ago. But as you can see, the scene is still very busy, still very active. Lots of police officers here, including senior members of the SAPS and the Hawks that have arrived at the scene. You'll know that this is quite a, a serious matter that they're dealing with, not just because of the, the number of suspects that are killed, but also because there is a member of the National Intervention Unit that is among the dead, as well as that other police officer, which is, as we understand it, critically wounded. And for those that know that unit, it is quite a specialized part of the SAPS, and they normally deal with very intricate operations. I'll just try and walk you a little bit closer uh, to show you what the scene looks like lots of people gathered here along the side on the pavement just watching everything unfold you'll be able to get a sense now from where i'm standing of the cordon tape that has been put up there just beyond that bush that you're seeing and i was giving you a view of that a little bit earlier from around the other side but that's where that shootout is uh, meant to have taken place probably just over an hour ago the initial information that we received was that those police officers were acting on information that they had received about very dangerous suspects that were operating in this area that were committing certain crimes and they were alleged to have been hiding out inside that house. Exactly what those crimes are, we're still waiting to find out. But I can also tell you just for context that the general area that we're in has also been plagued by crime. Last week, some police officers were talking to me about a shooting that they had attended here. Apparently members of the CPF in this area that had come under fire they tell me that there were at least three different incidents that took place within the past few weeks, leaving several people dead. The most recent last week was a, a CPF member and his family. And I think uh, there seems to be a war that has been unfolding in this area between those that are on the side of the law as well as those that are the criminals. I see now the spokesperson for the SAPS here, Colonel Robert Nechu Unda. Colonel, just in time. You were going inside to get some information. I think I just want to start with finding out the number of suspects that were shot dead here today. Uh, without giving out more information, because the Minister of Police will be coming here, he will, he will share more details. Uh, but what we have in there is um, um, four, four bodies, uh, two suspects have been shot um, uh, fatally, um, two other bodies are believed to be of um, um, two female companions who were with them. Mm. And maybe give us a sense of what transpired here when those members of the NIU approached the house. Police were flowing on information. Um, there was a group of, of, of suspects uh, who were brandishing firearms willy-nilly on social media, pictures, videos, uh, like the untouchables, and they were terrorizing the community uh, with house robberies and, and other kinds of crimes. So yes, when, when they pulled up information, uh, we found two of them here and shot at, at, at the police. Um, unfortunately, one of our own was fatally wounded and one was um, injured. Um, we, we are, we are um, saddened uh, that our, our, our member um, um, uh, lost his life on the line of duty due to criminals. Then um, um, we also got an crime scene where four, four suspects were, were shot um, um, and injured. Um, those were specializing in business robberies still in Komashi. Just to confirm that last part, are you saying that there's a second scene as well? Yes, there's a second crime scene where um, police were also following up on information on suspects who were busy um, um, committing house robberies in, in, the, in the area. And um, they showed the police 
we responded, then four of them were, were shot and um, they were injured. Is that related in any way at all to this first scene? I mean, is it the same gang or any connection? For now, it's still too early to establish if there's any connection. But here, the first crime scene, suspects were, were mostly on house robberies and other petty crimes in the area. Uh, the untouchable group, the other one, were following them because they were committing business robberies. Just by virtue of the fact that uh, the SAPS had had brought in the National Intervention Unit to deal with this based on the information we received of that particular member. I, I, I take it that these were quite dangerous or high-profile criminals that we're talking about. Whenever they say firearm, it's always dangerous. Uh, so as the police, we know that if you are going, we are likely to meet suspects who are going to shoot at us. We go with a team that can respond decisively. Uh, no saying others can't do it. They can. But if you have a specialized unit, why not take it? Because um, we, we, we want to arrest. And if in, in the process of arresting we are shot at, we are left with no option than to shoot back. What's the condition of the member that was uh, wounded in the shootout? We're told that he, he, is, he is critical, uh, but stable at the same time. Um, we are crossing our fingers that he makes it. We, we should not be doing this because we should not be having criminals who are shooting at, at the police. Uh, people should be, um, um, when you commit crime, you know that you, you are going to be arrested at some point. So these ones are brazen enough to shoot at, at the police. Um, I mean, shooting and fatally wounding a police officer. Uh, that, that's testing the minds of the state. Colonel, what does this mean for this community? Because you're talking about a gang that was terrorizing the community. Among those that have been killed, is the leader also there? Still too early to establish if there was a leader among those who, who, were, who were killed. But to show, to show that they, 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 they were willing to take out as many police as possible, one of them shot all his rounds in his fire. So they were, they were, they were going all, all out at, at the police. What firearms were they using? They were using different firearms. Yeah, so we don't want to give much details. Like I said, the minister will be here to give out uh, those details. What time will the minister be at the scene? The minister is tied down or, or, already in the province, so just a matter of minutes before he, he comes arrives here. Appreciate it. Uh, I'll talk to you in a little while about that other scene, Pratende, some of the information coming through about this, but also now that breaking news of a second scene not far from here where there are also four suspects that have also been killed. Uh, it sounds like this community was really terrorizing, or rather this gang was really terrorizing this community. We'll be getting more of those details when the police minister does arrive. As you heard there, he's expected to arrive at the scene in a little while. Yeah, Justin, just to recap, I mean, we've got this breaking news into Zuma there. A, a police officer shot dead, another police officer wounded. Plus, there are four bodies in that house behind you there, and they are presumed to be two suspects and two females who were with them. So that's the count of four that Nechiwunda was referring to. In addition, another breaking story now, there's been another shootout in another area in Durban with uh, four suspects being shot, and we're awaiting more details as well about that. But it's a separate incident from the one where you are in Tuzuma. Thank you very much. I think Dustin has lost the contact with me there. I was just trying to make sure we've got our numbers right. So if you've just joined us, there is a breaking news story where he is at Ntuzuma. But as he was talking to the police spokesperson there, Nechiwunda, he told him about another incident where four suspects have been shot as well. Investigations going on there. And that incident involves suspects... Uh, who are allegedly involved in attacks on businesses. Now, four of them have been shot. No other details at this stage from Nechiwunda. But in Ntuzuma, another story there that's been developing where Dasen has been, we know that there are four bodies inside the house, and two of them are said to be suspect, and there's also two females. We don't know any more details about that. But in addition, sadly and tragically, a police officer has been shot and killed, and another one has been wounded. The police minister, Begi Kele, will be in Ntuzuma very shortly. I think we'll take you there live as soon as he arrives and he speaks to the media.